What is up guys, it is your boy Steady Chaos. I wanna do a quick tips and tricks video for you 48 inch LG C10 and C1 owners out there who use your OLEDs for primarily PC gaming with higher end GPUs like the 3000 series Nvidia cards and the 6000 series AMD cards, 6800, 6900 XT. So if you're like me, you play cutting edge games like Resident Evil 8 Village and you want to set, you know, with such high end GPUs and CPUs, you want to set the graphics all to max. You want to obviously use 4K resolution because you're using a native 4K OLED panel. You want to use ray tracing. You know, you want to make sure you're trying to get as close to 120 frames per second as possible to maximize the use of your OLED display. Obviously, the higher the frame rates, the more responsive the game, the lower the input lag, right? The problem is with cutting edge games like Resident Evil 8 Village, even with a 3950X CPU, 32 gigs of overclocked RAM, and a 3080, I only get to about 60 to 100 frames per second with ray tracing and 4K max settings on RE Village. Especially in outdoor areas, the frames can really bog down in the 50s and 60s. So I'm like, how can I find a way to eke out more frames from my computer when playing these cutting edge PC games without really sacrificing much or anything really in terms of graphics. And I think I've come to some sort of a solution. Now, a lot of you veteran PC gamers out there, you are probably already familiar with this tactic, uh, but myself being relatively new to PC gaming, I've always kind of been a console gamer. It's not until the 3000 series of GPUs with Nvidia did I start PC gaming. So what I did was I said, I'm going to introduce letterbox bars or black bars on my OLED TV at the top and bottom of the screen so that my GPU doesn't have to push as many pixels and so that I get what closer to 120 frames per second with max settings and ray tracing engaged. If you are using a smaller screen, say you're using a 24, 27, 32 inch monitor and you're watching this video, I don't know if this trick or tip I should say is for you because if you introduce black bars or you adjust the scaling so that it's smaller on a 32 or 27 inch screen you're really going to shrink your screen real estate right you're not working with much screen to begin with on a C1 or C10 48 inch OLED you have so much screen size at your disposal that introducing some black bars on the top and the bottom or on the sides isn't really a huge deal because you already have so much screen real estate right so that was kind of my thinking so that's why this this video is geared primarily towards large large screen uh, C1 and C10 owners who use them as their PC monitors. So what I did is right click uh, and go to NVIDIA control panel and I'm sure the same methodology works like I said for AMD GPUs as well. So natively this is a 3840 by 2160 4K panel. We know that right? 120 hertz. So what I wanted to do was go to customize a resolution and you see here I have a bunch already customized and I'll show you how I did this. You create a custom resolution. So I want the to go with like kind of like a wide field of view kind of resolution output. So I'm thinking 3840 by maybe 1800 instead of 2160. So that would introduce, like I said, the black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. So to do that, what I would do is just punch in 1800 here, not that, 1800 here, vertical lines of resolution. You keep the horizontal pixels at 3840. Everything else down here can stay the same. You want to keep a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, I'm going to test this. I just let you know it worked for me, obviously, because it's telling me it's a duplicate resolution. I've already made this preset at 3840 by 1800 at 120 hertz. Okay, so get out of here. Okay, and if you create a brand new custom resolution, what you'll have to do first is X out of here, then go back in so that the NVIDIA control panel can sort of reset itself. And then scroll up right here and select 3840 by 1800 progressive. Apply that and you'll see what happens. See the black bars on the top and the bottom? So it gives me a kind of a hit yes. It gives me a wider field of view kind of feel. That's what it looks like. And it still looks great because it's such a large panel at 48 inches and you're only sitting three or four feet from the damn thing. So 3840 by 1800, 120 hertz, 10 bit color, RGB, full dynamic range. Now the important last step is you come down here and you adjust desktop size and position. 
So here you see, you wanna check no scaling. If you check full screen, what your TV is gonna do at 3840 by 1800 resolution is it's just going to upscale the resolution to the native resolution of the TV. So it's gonna take 3840 by 1800 and upscale to 3840 by 2160. You don't wanna do that because then you're gonna get somewhat of a blurred image. You're gonna get upscaling artifacts. You don't wanna do that. The idea here is to keep it at a native 4K sharpness or resolution but just cut off the top and bottom pixels. So go to watch this box down here. See how it's full right now, the grid? You go to no scaling and there they are. The, the black bar on the top and the black bar on the bottom. So that is less pixels for your GPU to push and that means higher frame rates. So perform the scaling on your display, not your GPU. You're trying to spare your GPU the work here. So do it on your display, hit apply, X out, now we bring up Resident Evil 8 Village with Steam. Okay, let's take a quick look at the graphical settings. Display, full screen, HDR is on, 3840 by 1800. You see here, that is the resolution we made, the custom resolution. VSync off, I have VSync engaged in the NVIDIA control panel. You wanna use VSync and G-Sync together. I'm gonna to make a video on this soon. I never realized this either as a new PC gamer. To get the smoothest gaming response, you wanna use VSync and G-Sync together. All right, uh, Fidelity FX Cast. All this is on. Everything is set to max. Ray tracing's on. It's all high. Everything is completely and utterly maxed out. Let's continue. Now, remember what I said. If I use native 4K in this game with ray tracing and max settings, in indoor areas, I get around 90, maybe 80 FPS. Let's see how we do now with the black boxes on the top and bottom. Bring up the game optimizer. And look at that, we're hitting 119 FPS right now. And as you can see, this game looks great. It looks absolutely great. Oh, we just got a little bit of a lag to 113, but the important thing is, is I'm over the 80, 85, 90 FPS I was getting with a full screen. Now I'm getting well over 100 FPS and the, the game is buttery smooth and buttery responsive. See an open area like this drop down to 95, 105, but by and large, you're getting more performance while for the most part maintaining, not even for the most part, you're maintaining the, this is 4K resolution right here that you're looking at. This is native 4K. The only difference is the 2160 lines is cut down to 1800 on the top and the bottom as we've established. So give this, if you guys have the C10 or the C1 and you're always trying to eke out more frames in 4K, give this methodology a try. Make a custom resolution in your NVIDIA control panel or AMD control panel and turn uh, scaling off so that your TV doesn't compensate and upscale and you've just earned yourself, what, 10, 15, 20% performance boost? And like I said, it looks great on an OLED, especially a 48 inch OLED because the screen is so damn big. So have at it, uh, give it a try, let me know what your performance gains are. And as usual, please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys later, peace.